okay so guys now what we will do let's see the installation of evng so if you want to read about evng so you can go to into this website eve hyphen ng.net and you will get all the details about it eve stand stand for emulated virtual environment so this evng it is a similar software like we are having gns3 but evng is have a support of almost all kind of devices and evng is the first software or a network simulation software who has basically start supporting your palo alto images your checkpoint images your windows images and everything and after that gns3 copied the concept and they have also start supporting all these particular images as well okay so i am using evng here now to do the evng installation what are the prerequisites you have to so let at least you should have a 12 gb of ram in your laptop then only you can go for evng installation because this evng installation we are doing doing for firewall labs right and if you want to do the firewall labs which may you will run some firewalls which really need some ram so evng is very good if you want to do the labs on palo alto firewall if you want to do the labs for fortigate firewall if you want to do the labs for f5 if you want to do the lab for checkpoint firewall or if you want to do the lab for python for network automation evng is the best software that is the reason i am covering evng here as well okay now so for evng the primary requirement you have to first install vmware workstation which we have already covered how we can do the installation of vmware workstation right the second thing what you need you needs to have this particular software or this particular image evng community edition ova image evng community edition ova image so guys what i will do i will prefer to basically you can download that image from this place and after that you can use this image for the installation purpose even though the same image is also available into evng website if you go into download sections so generally evng have two types of images evng professionals if you will basically download this image for that you have to purchase the license from evng that's not free you need a license for this particular if you want to use evng professional edition so what i will recommend you can basically use the evng community edition which is right there free evng community edition so what i will recommend guys do not download the, that image from here if you want you will get these images one for mega one for google drive i will recommend or highly recommend you can download this image because it's a most stable image of evng okay these are not most stable images maybe you will got some issues okay so that is the main reason you can basically use this particular image so i have already downloaded this image into my machine i'll go here software and you will see eve community edition ova image what do you have to do select it and just click on open with vmware workstation give some name evng test browse and what i will select the location so i will select the location into d drive to virtual machines and i will just create a folder evng test select evng test click on okay let me also give the name evng test like that you can change your settings 
so if you are having ssd guys so generally your ssd is available in c drive okay so generally that time you can install that image in c drive okay so you will get best performance import the image installation is pretty straightforward guys We have to wait for some time. So meanwhile, import is going on. Let me just try to see. I have one more diagram actually. That diagram is I have found pretty good actually. So let me just try to find it out. Yeah, VM lab. This is the diagram actually. So if you will see, I will give you maybe I will put these screenshots as well so you can able to understand the things. This is how my adapter says created basically. So I will go through with this diagram one more time maybe in your next lecture. So you will get some idea that time. Okay. Importing Eve NG right now. Import is going on, so we will wait. Okay, import is completed. Now go to into added virtual machine settings. Go to into hardware disk, which is 30 GB. Memory is 6 GB. So guys, at least if people who is having the RAM of 10 GB or 12 GB, they can give at least their 10 GB of memory. Okay, if someone having here RAM of 16 GB, they can give around 14 GB of RAM to your EVNG. So let me give here 8 GB or let me give here 16 GB because I have enough RAM so I can give here 16 GB. But in your case, you can give 14 if you have 16 GB of RAM. If you have more RAM, you can give about like 24 GB RAM people, they can give around 20 GB of RAM here. Processor is fine. You will go into this processor and you will you have to select this second option virtualize intel btx you have to select this particular technology so it will enable the virtualization hard disk you will see 30 gb always try to do one thing try to add the new hard hard disk do not expand the current one guys that's not a best practice always try to add some extra hard disk go with SCSI, which is recommended one. Next, create a new virtual disk. Next, give here at least 100 GB, guys. At least 100 GB of RAM. And a store file as a single disk. Next, finish. Like that, we will basically add one extra hard drive on your EVNG. I will recommend if you have enough space, you can give around 200 GB as well. Do not expand this one, just make it this as a 30 GB. That's it, more than enough. Here I have defined a 12 GB of frame. So let's suppose I'm having 16 GB. So you can give here 14 as well, okay? Totally up to you. Network adapter, you will see only one. What I will recommend, add here, three more adapters. Cancel it. We have to add the network adapter, not the disk. So we have one, two, three. Let's add one more. four this first adapter you have to select as a net adapter second adapter you can select as a brace 
third adapter you can select as a vmnet one and the last one you can select as a vmnet two so we have net then bridged and vmnet one then vmnet two now we are good to go guys do not forget to select this option okay if you will not select that option you will get some errors click on okay one more thing i want to tell you so these are the steps basically how you can do the event installation so i will put this particular steps these are the two videos which i have put it for you guys and before that sometime what we have to do we need to enable the virtualization guys so this was the first step enable the virtualization in your main system or in your laptop from vios and how you can do that so you can go into this link that link i will provide you here so how you can enable this virtualization btx or enable virtualization on your computer so for acer laptop you can follow this step this procedure you have to power on your machine you have to go to into vios option and you have to enable virtualization technology in ages this is the way for dell this is the way for hp this is the way for lenovo this is the way so maybe you can refer that particular video for that in sony this is the way read it and you can basically enable the virtualization first after that you can basically start the configuration part install the vmware workstation already done and download the evng image and import which we have also done now apart from this what we have to also do we have to change these adapters and all we have done the adapters and if you will see order has been changed right so we have to reorder them one more time press vmnet1 vmnet2 right we are having proper order click on okay power on this machine what is all about this particular evng software so what people this done the developer of this evng his name is ud what he has done he has he has just take out the linux or we can say he has just take out the avant to linux on top of this avant to linux he has basically run the evng application an entire thing is known as evng operating system okay so that's so in a back end basically it's a avant to linux operating system only on top of the, he has just installed the evng applications so you will see here i have got this ip address via dscp into this evng but always remember we will configure the static ip address on this machine as well so you will see the login prompt the default username in cli i just remember in evng cli when you will log in the username is root and password is eve this is your password and this is your username so if you will enter username is root password is eve type and enter now it will give type the root password so what you can do just first before typing anything press the tab tab here so now your ok is highlighted press the tab again so now your cursor is reached here you will not able to see this thing guys it is happening type e v e press the tab it will go to into ok hit enter again repeat the password type e v e press tab so it will highlight the ok hit enter give the name evng test you can give any name whatever name you want i will give here e hyphen ng hyphen test i will hit the tab so it will go into okay hit enter define your domain name so i will define here lab.local press the tab so it will go into okay hit enter now it is asking what i what type of ip address you want i want to configure static ip so now what hit the 
below arrow key so it will highlight the static one now hit the space bar so your star it just move from dhcp to static and after that hit enter now it is asking type the management interface ip address i want to configure here 192 168 137.50 configure this ip address press the tab hit enter netmask 255 255 255.0 press the tab hit enter type the default gateway which is 192 168 137.2 type the tab button okay dns type the dns for dns is 8.8.8.8 i always used to prefer using the public dns hit the tab hit enter secondary dns is 4.2.2.2 tab hit ok ntp server not required but if you want you can configure 192 168 137.1 hit enter hit enter and now we have done with the evng setup as well this is how we used to import the evng just wait here It will take some time here. Now, apart from this, guys, what is the next thing which you have to do now? If you go here, I have put one more software here. EVNG bin client and EVNG or bin SCP. These two client software now you have to download and you have to install them. It's just a normal installation like we used to do for the other softwares. You can install this EVNG bin client and you can install bin scp when you will successfully install these two softwares this one and this one after that we will start uploading these images so what you have to do you have to download these images Just download the one by one download all these images one by one and after that, what do you have to do? So these are the zipped file, guys. Just remember, these are the zipped file. So when it download will complete for them, what do you need? You need a one of the zip unzip folders. So what you can you can or one software you require to unzip them. So you can use here seven zip software for unzipping this file or you can use bin rar as well so these are the two software which we can use for unzipping these particular images so you can easily download them seven chip download so you can download the seven chip from here and if you want to download the WinRAR, you can also download WinRAR download. You can download this WinRAR software from this particular link, www.win-rar.com. After downloading these softwares from here, so you need only one software, download these images. Let me just show you the down, let me just download this ASA image first. I will, because I have already, I'm already having all these images on my machine. I already have these images, so you have to download them one by one, guys. Just remember. So, guys, sometimes what happens, I'm not sure it is happening with everyone, but in my laptop, when I will first time power on this machine, it will be stuck here. So, what I used to do, I used to power off this machine. After that, I used to power on this machine and it will fix the problem. Maybe in your case, it will reboot properly. You don't need to do it manual. Here I'm doing manually, but you don't need to do it manually in your case. Just wait here for some time. Just 
see i have all my settings has been applied this is the ip which i have configured i can log in as well root then eveng i can run this con if config pnet 0 this is the interface where we have configured this particular inter ip address if config pnet 0 192.168.137.50 right now you can directly go into your browser and type here 192.168.137.50 it's just a normal http connection do not use your https okay it's just a normal http connection and i will get this login prompt One ninety two, one sixty eight, one thirty seven dot five zero, why it is blinking? Let me be incognito mode here. One ninety two, one sixty eight, one thirty seven dot five zero. Why I'm getting this? Because see, I do have one more ENG which is also running with the same IP, so my browser is not getting the cache properly. That's what that was the reason. Now, whenever you will log in on the graphical user interface, you have to put here admin and password is EVE. -E. So for GUI, username is admin and password is EVE. -E. And here you have to select, do not select HTML5 console, select native console, guys. Sign in. now we have successfully logged in into our event here what you can do you can just create one folder give the name here palo alto class add this folder go inside this folder now you can click into this name add new lab give the name here palo alto lab 01 save and you will get this screen if you will right click and click on notes you will see all these devices here but right now you will see they are grayed out right except from you will see virtual pc which is only highlighting as below otherwise all are in grayed out right why because we have not uploaded these images so now what do you have to do if you want to do if you want to upload them you have to download these images like i have done so i have just done for cisco asa guys okay you can download all of them and you can upload now this downloaded as image what i will do this is the image i will select i have a 7 gif folder and i will just click on extract to this one like that i will extract and you will get this image if you go inside this image so this is the name of the this is the folder or this is the name of that image and you will see virtual.qcow2 so let's suppose if you will download it and you will see this kind of things if you will see this name virtual-001.qcow2 in that case you have to rename it you have to remove this hyphen zero zero one and this is the correct name guys so what i have done if you will see this images folder i am having all these images right i am having as image i am having f5 image but f5 not required so for your labs what you need palo to 10 image so this is the palo to 10 and this is the file proper name this is the file folder proper name do not change these names guys if you will change your palo alto will not boot up properly make sure you have a correct name this is for palo alto 9 this is for route this is for router this is for switch this is for windows 10 ent machine and this is for kali linux right so we have the details here even though i have also put the username and password of these images what is the default username and password of these images right 
So if you don't know the username and password, you can check this directory you will get. In Windows PC, we don't have any username and password, right? So you have to download all these images like that. We have a Dimes images as well. These are the Dynamips. These are the very, very small routers. Okay, so what we will do now? After that, after downloading these images, I will install this BinSCP software. Installation is very straightforward, guys. I will not show you this installation because it's very, very easy. And what you can do after that, you can directly open the BinSCP software. So I will search for this software. And this software will open like that. Let me just select here why it is not coming into this screen. So this software looks like this actually. It will always open like that. What do you have to do now? You have to go to into host name. You have to type your EVNG IP address, which is 192.161.37.50. Username is, we have to type a root because this time we want to make the changes on Linux. And password is EVE, -E. click on login. Click on update or maybe you will get saved and after that what do you have to do here you have to browse your folder where you have basically downloaded all these images and right now all these images in my case it is present in my software so if i'll go here into my software folder Increase this size. So here I'm having this software folder. I'll go inside this folder. I have images. I will select this one. Which is right there, right? Already selected. Click on OK. So you will see all the your images into this particular panel so you will see into your left panel all the downloaded images and this is the right panel which is the linux panel or your evng panel now what you have to do you have to go to into slash so you can just click over there into this drop down you will get this slash root directory go here you have to go to into this opt folder inside this opt folder you will get unit lab folder go inside this folder you will see add-ons folder go to into this folder opt unit lab add-ons and just go inside the dime system these are the very very small routers so we will use these routers so first what i will upload these routers image so you will see this dime system one here select this and just paste here drag and drop that's it and i have successfully uploaded my router and this time if i'll go again i have already opened into another tab if this time i will click on node you will see i can able to see this router right i can also add them add this router go back go back to add-ons again now go to into chemo go back here as well so you can use these arrows as well for going back and you will see now these images right so what i will do now let me just upload asa so you can just select this folder and drag and drop here and what it is start copying your files from your system to the evng software compete now if you go here node you will see this asa is highlighted now you can also add your asa 
you can connect them if like that we can connect them if you want you can also start them click on a start right click and start now if you want to open them see i can able to see them they will open into secure crt or either they will open into putty application right in my case because i'm using secure crt so it they will open into secure crt see they are booting up and they are opening but in your case if you will not able to see any option when you will open if you will not getting this option what you have to do you have to check maybe you have missed to install one more software which is this one evng bin client pack software so this software you need to install installation is pretty straightforward okay so i will not explain you how you can install because installation is pretty straightforward you can basically install them you can download and you can just double click and your installation will start for these two soft this particular software as well when SV, we are using for image transfer and this software we required so what it will create the framework for evng so basically your evng devices which we have configured here we can open them on putty on bin scp or let's suppose on your bn scp viewer or we can also start the wireshark we can start the captures as well so all these particular so this software it will contain all these small small piece of software so it's a pack of multiple softwares and when you will install this main one it will guts install all the remaining softwares or all the software which we need for evng just remember after that what i will do let me also upload my palo alto images so palo alto image will take some time guys because size is very high you will see it's take around five minutes so this is how we will basically upload the images on evng and after that we can use them here for creating the top losses and right now you will see this is asa it is still booting up but router is already boot up i will press here no and i will get the access of my router now but i got the access of my router enable now see i have the access of my router i can run the commands as well so this is how guys we will install evng and that's how we will transfer all the images when this transfer will complete when you right click over there you will see your palo alto image as well here see you can see this palo alto image here but it's not uploaded properly so it will not work so you have to wait for upload like that what you can do you can upload all the mentioned images here like for your lab which images i need let me just write down these for your lab purpose i need this as image i need one image from dimesys which is router and i need these palo alto images these two and i need one tiny core linux image linux tiny core 11 and i need this kelly linux image and I need this Windows 10 ENT image. These are the images which I need for your labs. So what you have to do, you have to upload at least these images into your EVNG. This is the way, drag and drop. And from where you will get these images, you can download them from here into this folder. Dimes is available here, right? These are dimes one. Other images available into your zip format. So you have to unzip them. Okay. So that's how basically we have to do the EVNG installation. Okay. Now, 
this is the thing which I want to discuss, guys, with regards to ENG installation on the Palo Alto or in your by using VMware workstation in your class. And this is, I think, all about your ENG installation if you are able to access and if your images are booting up properly and you can able to see the login page of these images, which is more than enough for me. I'm just waiting for this image to upload completely. And after that, I will see your Palo Alto is booting up properly or not. So let's wait for one, one minute more to upload this image properly. Apart from this guys, now let me tell you regarding your next class. So in your next class, what I will, I will start my class installing this EVNG software in Google Cloud, GCP, Google Cloud Platforms. So the people who is not having good laptops, like they don't have a laptop with 12 GB of RAM. For them, what we will help you installing the EVNG software in GCP. The requirement for this Google Cloud Platform you need one credit card. I have not tried with the debit card, guys. Try to test the things with debit card, but make sure you have a Visa or MasterCard. In GCP, you can also use some virtual cards as well. Like if you have a Paytm virtual cards, right? If you have these virtual cards, you can also use these cards as well. But make sure in your credit card, international payment is enabled. International payments is enabled. So when you will register for Google, I will tell you the registration process. It's very easy. You can create your account. You will get thousands of video on internet, how you can create a GCP account, but don't worry. I will also demo demonstrate that part as well. So what by next week, whenever we will meet again on Saturday, just make sure at least your GCP account is ready. Okay. You need that, that particular credit card only to register for GCP and this GCP, it will detect two rupees to INR and after that, that money also gets refunded to you and what GCP, they will give you around 300 USD, which is something 23,000 INR. This amount you can use till 90 days on GCP. So what we will do, I will you this particular free credited amount which we are getting from google cloud what we will rent out one server on gcp that server i will rent out with 32 gb of configuration 32 gb ram and around 200 gb of hard disk now after that what on that particular server I will install my ENG software where we will basically create all the labs. So that's the basically plan for your next class. In next class, after completing the GCP installation, I will also help you how you can import the images on GCP. And what I will do, I will also share my topologies, which is already created by me. I will tell you how you can use my existing topologies into your EVNG. So you don't need to create these topologies, such kind of topologies. But guys, these topologies will not work always. Maybe out of 10 people, maybe they are working for eight people. For two people, they are not working. So these two people, what they have to then do their manual works they have to create and the creating of a topology in EVNG just take five minutes of time guys so do not wait always try to start creating by yourself so you will get some idea on it okay 
when you will basically done with the creation of these lab topology, I will also explain you the NIC cards basically. Because in EVNG, we have different NIC cards. How we have bound these NIC cards with our VMware NIC cards, right? Because when we have done the installation, we have selected four adapters, right? What is the meaning of these adapters? Why I have selected them, right? So I will also explain you this internal EVNG NIC communication. Like this, so this is the whole plan for my next class, guys. Now you will see. Palo Alto is also uploaded. If you want, you can also upload this Windows image, but this Windows image will really, it will take time because it's a big file. Okay. See, it is taking nine minutes. Now, if you will go here, right click. If you will, you can also search Palo Alto. You will get a Palo Alto VM. 100. And this is my Palo Alto 9. We also need to upload Palo Alto 10, which is this one. I have uploaded nine. So guys, in nine, you can go with the 4GB RAM. It will work perfectly fine. Do not change any other settings, but just increase the interfaces. Just put here eight instead of four. But if you are using 10 here, you have to give at least memory of 8192. At least give here eight GB of RAM. 4096, I will go with the 4 GB of RAM. That's it, click on okay. If you want, you can start this Palo Alto firewall as well. Start it. Sometime if you will see you have started and you will get this prompt, Palo Alto is started, but you will not see this kind of icon. You can also refresh the topology from here. Even though if you want to start all the devices, you can go into more action. You can start all the nodes. You can stop all the nodes. You can remove the configuration from all the nodes. If you want a console access of all the nodes, you can click on this option. You can, you can basically, whenever you will basically stop working with this EVNG, always try to stop all the nodes and try to close your lab. Okay close your lab. Now just open this firewall so it will open with VNC viewer guys. Right now you will see it has started booting up like it has just booted up when we have basically installed it into our VMware workstation. Now, what exactly similar way you can do the configuration, you can configure the management interface and other things. So you have to just see your firewall is booting up properly or not. It is just checking the integrity and all, and it will boot so finally, and after that you will get this login screen. Like we will, like we have we had get on the vmware case right so this is how we will do the evng installation and that's how we will basically upload the images for uploading the images we need one software which is present here bin scp if you want you can also download the latest version of bin scp from internet bin scp download for windows 10 click on downloads in first website this is the software I'm using. This is the EVNG client software. You can download from here and install it. If you want, you can also download it from EVNG website. Click on downloads. You will get here Windows client site. Click on this one. And this is the client software. So you can download this Windows integration pack. Okay. That's how we will basically download these softwares we will install the evng and that's how we will access the devices if you want you can stop this device like that as well i stopped it these two devices now my palo alto is booting up properly right so that is all about your evng installation guys which voice which i want to cover in this particular lecture